I just... Because you could see, like, I was running to where I thought the disc should be bouncing off to. And basically stopping there, but it wasn't. Maybe. <laughs> what a rally. Ah, hit the wrong button. Good night, dude. What? the wrong way. I heard the noise and I went for it. A right, jam point. Come on, guy. Lol. It's because I stepped back. I still have a few glimpses of what I used to be. <sighs> that's that's still weird to me. You're hitting the ground and I'm an idiot. If I could dance, I would. <laughs> Bad slide.
pulled away too soon. Place at the right time. Claim that I'm uh, getting bad luck on those uh, those goal line picks, because I'm the host. He took that one. me being dumb. Shut up, Demon. That was just me being dumb. Because I was running forward instead of backwards. He's right on the net and I needed to be further back. I was running up here, whereas I should have been running back. That's called human error. Just like that slide was human error. <laughs> That's why I said shut up, Dubin. Shut up, Dubin. I can swear I got perfect on that, but I guess not. <laughs> So that's not a long enough period of time to get the shield charged up. I was way out of position for that. Just because I heard the sound, I immediately slid back the other way. Oh. 
Good shot. But it was a bad read, and then when I heard the sound, I immediately slid back. It, it basically saves you screwing up. Hey, what up, Twinkle? Good seeing you. Shy kitty boy, huh? Shy kitty boy. Nice. I'm very rusty, Twinkle. <laughs> Those lobs are throwing me off because the animation is so much different. <laughs> I'm going for Cone and it doesn't exist. <laughs> I did get a super return on you though, Twinkle. When you did that one lob, I uh, first lob, I got it. You still picked it up though. I think you scored that point too. Yay! I was hitting my bumper on accident. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, somebody needs to go on Twitch and find that on my replay and clip it out and put it up on the, uh, the bugs part of the Discord. Nice, uh, bad slide. Started my curve too soon. No, <laughs> now he's. He's at point because I missed that one rally. Step into doesn't seem to work very well right now. Don't feel bad for taking a good shot. When something bad like that happens, I expect you to take a good shot against me. But don't feel bad about it.
<laughs> yeah, I don't know about sounds still. Thanks! Thanks, Moisten. I gotta win one more. Chat disabled for two seconds. That's interesting that they add that in. So, two aces to start. Oh, bad slide. I really feel it's like, who makes the first mistake here? That's how I feel right now. Is it gonna be Jambi making the first mistake, or is it gonna be me? See, I feel like that had a different trajectory coming off the wall before. Because where I was is where I felt like I should be standing. Where I ended up. I didn't feel like I should be running to the left anymore. That's, a, that's another thing about the uh, the sound and the new animation. Well, the sound kind of really gives it away, but I used to do those wide wall rides to kind of trick people out. You can't do that anymore because of the sound. That's another point. Now that I'm playing, I'm coming up with more points on why the sound is dumb. Like, the mix-up that you can do with like the angle of the way you're throwing your... Your stuff is just, it's screwing up a lot of the mix up that I used to do. I know that's more of like a personal preference thing, but. Well, the, what I'm talking about is when you would throw it as a really wide wall ride, like that one right there, granted, if I had it a little tighter, you wouldn't know if it was a, just like a normal filth shot that was just too tight, or if it was a wall ride. So it would actually bounce off the wall and. Yeah. I feel like the, uh, the audio cue tells people that it's going to, you know, wall ride to the wall, because the second bounce was always tighter than the first. Like, it was just a normal wall ride bounce. But now that you have that noise, you know for a fact, like, a lot of times, I know Ninja brought this up to me on those wide wall rides, is that he would, he wouldn't be looking for the disc tilt because it was so wide out. So, no, I just gave that. And that's why I would throw those mix-ups of the different angles of the wall ride. It's because I could do that and kind of trick people out. Alright, I'll turn it up in a minute. I don't know, I just feel like the short hop and the wider wall rides are just less... 
useful now. Because think about it, the, the wide wall rides take a lot longer to get to the wall because they have to curve so much. So they're really even more of a disadvantage when you use them. But having that little bit of fake out with it coming out curved like that, you think it's going to be a fill, but it ends up being a wall ride. That's kind of the what I was going at. There's none of that left, really. I don't know. It's just, it's gripes that I have. Like, I don't think I should ever even throw one of those wall, wide wall rides anymore. Because, alright, I need to shut up. There it is. Yeah, like, in my mind, Dubin, it's just... I don't want to throw a wide wall ride anymore. Like, I'm good at switching up between a normal wall ride, a tight wall ride, and a wall ride. Well, wide wall ride. I don't want to throw a wide wall ride anymore because it's not advantageous whatsoever. It doesn't trick anybody out, you know, to the fact that it's not a filth. It's a wall ride because there's the noise and I guess the extra animation. But I. Used to be one of my key moves. I'd wall ride, wall ride, or I'd filth, 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 and then all of a sudden I'd do the wide wall ride, and it would catch people off guard. No, I caught you on, you know, on it a few times, dude, but don't, don't, don't go there. <laughs> I caught Ishii with it a bunch. 